This is the Phoenix Real Estate Market Report for October 2018. What about housing affordability? We all know that it's a seller's market and it's gonna stay that way for the next six to 12 months before things start to flatten out. But what about the home buyer? Should they even be thinking about buying a home right now? We're gonna answer that in just a moment. Now about the housing affordability question. Here's how I'd like to break that down. First, I'd like to set that up by taking a look at a couple of things. First, the annual sales rate. One of the things that we can see is that we're still selling a lot of homes right now, about 94,000 homes per year. And the makeup of those homes is something that I think we should all pay attention to. For example, if you look at the third chart down in this post, you'll see a sample of that graph showing the types of sales in the different time periods. If you look at that ugly time between 2008 and 2012, you'll see that the distress sales represented by all the colors other than the dark blue, they represent about 70% of all the sales in our marketplace. Compare that to today, those sales, those distress sales, they represent less than 4% of our marketplace. So that's definitely good news for everyone who's in the housing market right now. Next thing I'd like to pay attention to are the price per square foot numbers. Back in 2000, the price per square foot was around $95 per square foot. Today, the price is almost $174 per square foot. Now, that's an 18 year period from 2000 to 2018. And if you look at that graph, you'll see lots of spikes and dips, ups and downs. You'll see us go through the big bubble. You'll see the crash. You'll see the prices move around a lot. But if you extrapolate the average appreciation from 2000 to 2018, it's still around 3%. So just what it always is historically here in Arizona anyhow. So <clears throat> like my friend at the Cromford Report likes to say, I think Tina Tambor, what she says is if you were to fall asleep in 2000 and wake up in 2018, you'll realize that you've had about 3% appreciation, the same kind of appreciation that we always seem to get here when you average things out. So that's one thing to look at. The next thing I'd like to focus on are home prices. Now, if you were to take a 1,900 square foot home and buy it back in 2006, you would have paid on average $310,000 for that house. Today, that same house is $277,000. Another big difference is interest rate. Interest rate at its peak in 06 was right around 6.6%. Today, interest rates are at 4.68%. Now, that would give you a payment on the home in 2006 of $1,880 per month. And today, in 2018, you'd be looking at a payment around $1,361 per month. Big difference, in fact, it's $519 per month difference. So although home values are on their way up from what they've been in previous years, if you compare to 2006, when things were at their peak, you can pay much less on a monthly basis for that home because of interest rate. Interest rate is almost a full two points lower now than it was back then and prices are still a little bit lower for that 1,900 square foot house. Now, if you have any other questions about housing affordability or any kind of real estate questions whatsoever, please know, let me know what they are. I'll make a video about that. I'll do the research and I'll share it with everybody who sees these videos. In the meantime, thanks for checking out this video. I'm John Cunningham with eXp Realty. See ya.